Hello. Hello, how you doing? It's Friday night. Cook it with Kip. Yeah. Wow. It's good to be with you. Um, it's Friday and uh, it's time to do some cooking. Cooking, cocktails, conversation. Uh, if you don't know and it's first time checking us out, I'm Kip. And that's time. Hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do some cooking. Uh, we do some cooking like on Fridays. We do some cooking on Saturdays. Um, Wednesday, we chill. Yeah, we wind down with some wine. And uh, on uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, we try to inspire. Okay? So we're going to get ready to cook. It's Friday night. And I decided I want to do, I've done some flatbreads before, but we're going to do a little pizza. You know? Uh, I made the dough already. So I got to bounce it down and uh, start it off. But let me tell you what's how the recipe of the dough. Basic. Simple. Dough. Yes. Simple. Three and a half to four cups of flour, depending on where you are. self rising you No, all purpose. Actually, okay. I use bread flour because okay. it gives a little crisper crust. Um, I use a teaspoon of sugar, two teaspoons of salt. I use kosher salt. Um... I used about a tablespoon of olive oil, mm -hmm. two tablespoons, and I used, uh, what else? Oh, a cup and a half of water. Mm -hmm. I used Fiji water, actually, so <laughs> a good water, mm -hmm. a good water, and I heated the water to 110 degrees, and uh, put it all my ingredients, the dry ingredients, into the bowl, and yeast, I'm sorry. Um, Active yeast. Yeast is... Um, I use two tablespoons because I have loose yeast, um, but if you have just the packets, one packet will do, mm -hmm. but I have loose yeast, so I use two tablespoons, but one packet of active yeast will get it done. Mix it up. Um, after you get it mixed up and it's a little sticky, add a little flour, knead it down, which I'm going to have to do it, knead a little bit more, then let it rise for about an hour in a you know, warm area. Uh, Top of the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> this is like you said on the stove. Okay. And then uh, now I'm going to roll it down, knead it a little bit, let it rest about 10 minutes. And you got some pizza dough. Got some pizza dough. Put, some, right. put whatever you like on it. Tonight we're going to put some Italian sausage, which I'm going to cook. Some red onions, some tomatoes, some... Uh, Banana, banana pepper, peppers and mushrooms. Some mushrooms and we're going to garnish it with a little bit of olive oil at the end. And oh, some spinach. And some spinach. Right. Cool? Cool. Let's do some cooking. Let's do some cooking. It's Friday night, and it's time to cook and we get back to the day. I like that little, that <laughs> little melody. I'm going to say hi to a few people. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, a cocktail. Yes, cooking with Kip. Cocktail, conversation, and cooking. Hello, Phyllis Goodman from Little Rock, Arkansas. Addie Alexandra. Hello, Shirley Turner. Yvette Coleman, Janice Simmons, Harold Rucker, James Hamilton. Hey, Tia Sanders, Yolanda Cunningham in the house. Mary Bell, thank you so much for joining us. Sylvia Christian, Janice Simmons Aldridge, Karen T. Short. Thank you all. Donna Williams, Sue Bertestor. Um, Thank you all so much for joining us. We're going to get right into this homemade pizza. Yes, we are. Hello, Linda Yarbrough, um, Charlene Andrews, Vivian John Summers. So here's what I'm gonna do. Actually, I'm gonna uh, to cook the. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get. This. Actually, you know what? Let me slow my roll here. Slow your roll, baby. Uh, well, I'm going to get this done. Okay. Since I'm using uh, Italian sausage, I just bought the ones with the link, and I'm gonna take it out of the uh, casing. The casing. So we're doing a crumble and not slice. That's correct. I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna salt it. We'll cook it down a little bit. And probably a couple of links. Okay. And then uh, on some medium heat, get these cooked. And that time it'll be cooled down some for me. Hello, Jacqueline into the, uh, Houston. Into the skillet. So I'm taking the casing off, as Ty said. And then I'll cook it down some. And then I'll let it cool. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and punch my dough down and get it rolled out. Okay. So we will cook the dough a bit first before we put the toppings. And we won't. We won't? No. Okay. All right, Chef. Hello, Sahara Moore. Thank you for the star. Charlene Andrews, Gail Berry, Corrine Fuller. Latanya Washington is using her Berberet on some chicken. All right. 
That it should be good. good, sis. Hello, Michelle Hudson Crawford. Pound cake chicks. I'm gonna do a plug real quick. That's okay, Chef. That's that's quite fine. <laughs> if you all are into baking at all, it doesn't have to be a pound pound cake. Any type of baking. Um, make sure you're following the Pound Cake Chicks on yeah, Facebook. You gotta follow the Pound Cake Chicks. Um, I follow the Pound Cake Chicks, and I ain't no chick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, they had that conversation about the males uh, members, but it's very informative. Any problem you run into with baking? So I'm gonna punch this dough down. Boom. That's what you want to do because it doubled, and that little greasy film—that's actually olive oil that I had on the dough. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get it on here. I gotta add a little flour to my to my surface. And actually I've already kneaded it, but I'm gonna knead it just a little bit more. Just a little bit, not much, because it's already been kneaded. And then I'm just gonna roll. I'm gonna cut it into two pieces. Because okay. that's quite a bit. Okay. Hello, cut Kim it into Newton. Two pieces. I'm on your back with a knife. Okay. There we go. We're going to save that. Put that in the bowl. All right. So I'm going to, uh, after I've done that, I'm going to let it rest for just a moment. Pizza dough is a tricky thing. If I try to roll it out right now, mm -hmm. it will just like bounce right back to me. Okay. So if I let it rest after punching it down and playing with it a little bit and kneading it around, it's going to relax. And, do and, and it's going to allow me to... Uh, roll it out without retracting okay when you say retract hopefully <laughs> <laughs> right we on the live um what i mean by when you roll the dough piece of dough after you've done that it will bounce back mm -hmm. coming to you okay so we're gonna let that sit there for a minute okay okay now i'm gonna go ahead and cook the sausage mm -hmm. and uh now, recipe, like I said, you'll give it back to him again. You remember what it was, baby? I don't. I don't remember the measurement. Three and a half to four cups of... All-purpose. All-purpose. If you really want a crunchier dough, use bread flour. There's a bread flour there that you can find at any store. Um, from that, with the flour, then you need uh, about two tablespoons of dry yeast, or active yeast, I should say. Um, cup and a half of good water. Warmed. Uh, at 110 degrees, heated to 110 degrees. Teaspoon of sugar, two tablespoons of kosher salt, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Mix it all up. And as you put it in your mixture, add slowly add your water to it. As it's mixing, when it starts to turn into a ball, take it, not a ball, well, develop into a ball. Take it out and eat it some. And uh, put it in a bowl, a grease bowl, cover it away from drafts, let it rise for about an hour. Boom, you're in the game. Got you some pizza, though. Yeah. Okay, let's get this sausage cooking. Josie Brent said it'll be amazing if her wine list bounced back. Oh, Josie. I'm forgetful, Josie. I'm having stuff going on. I replied to somebody today about a recipe. So, Josie, I got you. I promise. You don't believe all the stuff that we have going on right now. With work, life, and stuff to have to do. But I got you. I promise. Yes. Actually, today, Lola's standing right by her mom. What did I say you going to do for me, Lola? You said you was going to do First, you said a planner. You said you want to be his assistant. Lola's going to be and my sister. Pay me How much? I said I was going to pay you. $5 an hour? Okay. We need to get no, this I, on camera. You need witnesses, girl. $5 I, an I'll hour? I'll pay you more than 5 hours. hour, baby. <laughs> Hello, Pat right, look, Lola's going to put my list together every week for me. Baby. Okay. My Hello, Alicia Dotson. Michelle uh, said, you are our chap. Not chick, but chap. I'm a chap? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that'll work. Let me turn it down, son. Okay, so I'm going to get it into some broke little pieces. Okay. We're going to do a, an Italian sausage crumble to go on the pizza. Hello, Leah Loving Coast. Darlene Knight. Thank y'all for joining. Turn that down. Okay, so this is going to go into the pizza, right? Yes. Barbara Rivers, good evening, Kip and family. How are y'all doing this blessed evening? Tell oh, mom hello. In the back, that's some uh, tomato sauce. Okay. It's going on the pizza. Okay. okay. Hello, family. 
That's uh, Sister Rosman. Hey, how you doing? Garrison. So pizza is good Friday night. Actually, I got my nephews here. They've already eaten something, but I bet they're going to eat some of this, too. Yeah, they'll eat some. Hello, um, Lola is safe. Don't add them. Do <laughs> <laughs> Vicky Spencer, what's up, y'all? Happy Friday. I've never been good with dough. Kip made it too easy. Well, it's an easy me, recipe. You didn't watch me make it. Because I, the only reason you didn't watch me make the dough tonight because I needed an hour for the dough to get ready. Um, but it is. It took me probably how long to whip it up? Maybe five minutes? About five minutes to whip it up. But you know what? Um, a cocktail is a chocolate rye whiskey that's new for you but i know you're tasting it because it's going in a recipe so I'm, I'm tasting it tonight you're right baby that's mm -hmm. the only reason i'm tasting it because <laughs> i'm making a dessert with this tomorrow yes it won't Hello. be live it won't be live we gotta go and do something for a special group tomorrow hello trisha landers thank you for joining us from georgia Headed to dinner, y'all set me two pieces aside. That's Michelle. We'll do. <laughs> we will. I'll, actually, I'm going to airmail it to you all the way to Austin, Texas. <laughs> uh, Joseph Brent said, yeah, Kip. I got you, Joseph. <laughs> I'm going to make sure it get done. Oh, boy, I'm losing the faith. I got you, Josie. <laughs> um, hello, Bridget Donaldson. Darlene Knight. Okay. My eyes I had to get it where I could talk to it around a little bit. <laughs> Joseph said, guess we'll answer the door when, when it's finished, and I'll write the list. <laughs> Come on, sis. Thank you for the stars, Vicky Spencer. <laughs> Michelle laughing at you. Kip drinking that cowboy Kool-Aid tonight. That's hell. That's hey, Rucker. Cowboy Kool-Aid? <laughs> cowboy Kool-Aid. Yeah, exactly huh? Some chocolate whiskey. Hello, Crystal McKenzie. Hello, friends. Indianapolis is in the house. Hello, Marquila Good Gooden. Ella Woodson, thank y'all for joining. We're making pizza. The pizza so the Italian sausage is cooking up. We got some sauce to go on the pizza back here. And we have a good pizza song we just pulled out. Hello, Carolyn Cunningham, Marion Jackson. I should bring my semolina. Alright, baby. I'm good. I lost the comment. That thing get on my nerve. Thank you for the stars, Harold. <laughs> Thank you so much. But yes, yeah, so um we chilling this Friday night. Pizza was a good go-to because it's fairly quick once you get the dough ready. I'm gonna zoom in on the dough so y'all can see what's going on. It's resting. No. Hello, Alisa Jackson, Clyde from Phoenix City, Alabama, Kim Smith from Virginia Beach. Hello, Cassandra Green. Thank everyone for joining us tonight. Cooking with Kip After Dark, Jeanette Stilson. Hello. Thank you for the stars, Daniel. All right, I'm back. Back. Yeah. Like you never know. Uh, Cornmeal. Yeah. Just a little bit on this. On this. Uh, Stone. stone. So, you want to tell about cooking with the stone versus a regular pan? Ah, uh, crispier. Makes it crispier. Yeah. Crispier, because I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put the stone into the oven. Okay. We're making pizza, Jeanette. Vicky Spencer, I'm drinking cheap wine tonight. San Antonio, it's really good and mellow. Okay. So I'm going to get the stone actually into the oven. Okay. I need to get the oven going. Mm-hmm. That would will, that will help, huh? Yes, a little heat. <laughs> Gary Craig. Gary Craig is in our stomping grounds yes, tonight. Is. Thank you for the stars, brother. I'm glad you made it safely. Thank you for the stars, Rebecca Dickerson. I'm sure you will enjoy our city. Hello, Latanya Anderson, my sister from Mississippi by way of Louisiana. Hello, Yvette King. Smell of vision is great. Keep throwing down these treasures. Thank you, Josie Brent. All right, I'm going to kick that sauce up a little bit more. I think my bread should be where I can. Roll it out. Hey, Liz Gonzalez, I'm sorry. No love lost. Thank you for joining us. Good evening, Jeanette Cox, Ariana Stitt, Rhonda Remo. What's up, sis? At work, peeping at the pizza. 
I got my co-workers watching. Hello, all. All right, so let me get this. Italian sausage is about there. I just want to make sure it's done. But, you know, I'm not worried about it getting, like, overly done because you know why? It's going in the oven. It's going in the oven, so I'm about there. So we're going to take it off the out. Okay. All right. And I like bigger pieces of... Uh, of the, sausage. of the sausage versus the little crumble crumbles. Thank you for the stars, Maria. Hello, Demetrius Coleman. All right, I think my dough is ready to work with. Josie, it's coming. I don't want to take away from the star of the show. He the real chef. Josie asked me when I'm getting in the kitchen. Thank you for sharing, Yolanda Thomas. We gonna get tired in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm, I got to ease my I way in. Coming. I don't know, baby. <laughs> yeah. All right. Slide over to the side. All right. We're going to come watch Chef roll out his dough. Watch his dough. If you're just joining, this is homemade dough. All right. So I think my dough is going to be fine. I can tell the way it's stretching. Okay. So you gonna, I'm not a pizza guy. I was going to say, you're going to give people a show and no, throw it in the air. I don't know how to do all that stuff. You're going to flip it and catch I, it behind I, your back. I don't know nothing about all that. Hello, right. Demetrius Coleman. Thank you for joining us. I don't know nothing about all that throwing up and down. Thank you, Marie Taylor Sandy from Mississippi Delta. So it's going to be like a thin crust, baby. I love a thin crust. Thin and crunchy. See, if you notice, it's kind of, see how it's kind of coming back at me? Mm-hmm. Springing. Yeah. But it's rolling out. Yeah. This is, uh, I won't say being a pizza guy has been my thing. Mm-hmm. Did I turn it off? Yes, it's off. That's residual heat. Hello, Vonda Anderson Pruitt. Okay. All right. I brought my table tonight and put it up there. Gave me more space. Actually, it was Lola's idea to do this, I think. Yeah, Lola wanted pizza. I miss the name. Several people that I've talked to from the cab driver to the hotel manager knows who Mr. Kip is. All right, baby. All right. You well known in Savannah. Right. Hello, Judy Howard. They from... must have seen me on the wall at the, at the, at the uh, post office. Why, you missed her? No, they didn't want it. You want it? <laughs> Hello, Judy Howard from China Hills, right. California. <laughs> okay, I'm getting this pizza rolled out. Thank you for the stars, Ariana Stitt. Thank you so much. Handle the chef. Strength is good. <laughs> That's Josie Bryant. <laughs> Josie all right with me. She all right with me mm. too. I'm going to make sure she get that list tonight. Yeah, I know. That's right. We got to get her drinking some good wine. Yes, Lord. <laughs> all right. So we're getting the dough rolled out. And I'm not looking for a perfect circle. With if I was, I would, I would tell you that. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm looking for artesian pizza. Rustic. Rustic. <laughs> Which means not perfect. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, actually, we like the rustic look. Don't I do. Actually, I do. It makes for a more beautiful pizza. Yeah. yeah. I think the, I think the dough is gonna be good, Spear. All right, I baby, I believe in you. <laughs> I'm out of space over here. All right, I ain't flipping it no more. No more. Thank you, Sally Lee Wiggins right. from California. Okay, about to be where I want to be. Okay. We yeah, have about a 10 inch pizza. And we are about there. We're going to put the pizza stone in the oven. Okay, let's go in. Now, I prefer a uh, a flatbread myself, but a thin crust will work. Thank you for the stars, Gwen Bacon Jones. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know what? What? I might not be able to do that. What? I can't warm it up in the oven. Because I don't have a pizza pill. Yeah, I'm going to get it in that oven. <laughs> on the thing. Huh? On the, on the brick. I say, but I'm going to have to make it on it. See what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. So I won't be able to do that tonight because I don't have a pill with me. Yes, and we can't touch that 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 uh, brick after it get hot. Yeah. I see what you mean, babe. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right. We're going to readjust. I'm glad I thought about that in time. So I don't have a pizza peel. Pizza peel allows me to put it into the oven like a shovel. Like a shovel. Yeah. 
and we don't have that mechanism to put on the brick while it's in the oven yeah, yeah, or the stone. Lisa, Liz Gonzalez, we um, went over that a little bit. Not sure if you've What's ever that? said why you came on and how long you've been on Facebook. Was it because of the pandemic, why you started cooking on Facebook? No. Thank uh, you, Liz. Um, you going to tell them, baby? Yeah. I'll tell them. Tell them, baby. Well, <laughs> it kind of just happened. It um, just happened. <laughs> about almost two years ago, and I'm going to get back to cooking. I decided after 20 something years to leave the restaurant business. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's time for me to go. I've done it a long time. I enjoyed it. It was good for me, but it's time. And, and mo multiple times I was told by my guests, there's a different calling for you, man. Mm -hmm. And people would just walk up to me, just out of the blue, say, I mean, literally say, there's a different calling for me. I'm like, nah, my calling is to make money. <laughs> <laughs> and then one day I decided. It's time for me to move on. And um, just took some time off, you know, enjoying family. And pandemic did come. Mm -hmm. But I was, I've always cooked around the house, but I got back more to it because I had more time. I was relaxing and started cooking. And Ty said, why don't you do this on Facebook? Mm -hmm. I said, no, I don't do that. <laughs> he sure did. I'm not looking for that kind of audience. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready to expose myself to that. And, but we did. Mm -hmm. uh, April of last year. Mm -hmm. And um, and it, it just kept happening. And yes. uh, just, you know, I've been looking for it to grow like this. But uh, but it became fun. And I think reaching people, because I've always enjoyed reaching people in, in my job. Mm -hmm. And I, it hit me. God, I'm reaching people. All over. All over. Yeah. More so than in, the, in those four walls. Mm -hmm. So I'm passionate about people. I've always, I remember going to a meeting once and I was one of uh, the presenters and my presentation was about hospitality. It was at Florida State actually in Tallahassee. And I walked up in front of all these students and I said, I'm here to talk about hospitality. And just for the record, you're looking at hospitality. And that was my <laughs> opening line. Um, and I want to talk about that. So hospitality is what I enjoy doing and, and I like to inspire people. So hopefully I inspired you to cook. And keep a smile on your face. Right. There you go, baby. All right. Now, I couldn't have said it like this. So, yes, I'm so have. glad you took yes, over. You <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, we got some new people on. Thank y'all. Latanya said, look at you now. Don't let fear overtake your blessing. That's okay. good. So, let's do this pizza. We're going to put a little sauce on there. A bit. There's a ladle over there. A ladle? I'm okay. I don't need a ladle. I'm you good. sure? Yeah. Okay. So. You're going to put... This sauce is just... Throw ball. I didn't make any sauce tonight. And I pride myself in, you don't have to. That's just my thing. I, I'm just one of those that like to make everything. I just enjoy, I enjoy doing it. Yes. I, but tonight, I didn't make the sauce. No. I just poured some. So it's store ball. We cheated a little bit. Because it was bit. a busy week and I didn't have time, really. Mm -hmm. So we got the sauce on, the, on here. I'm going to leave just a little bit of an edge, not much. Thank you, Kyla. Thank y'all so much for the love. Glad you listened to Ty. Thank you, Keisha Robinson. <laughs> Thank you, Demetrius right. Coleman. So we got a little sauce on there. We're going to put a little bit of mozzarella on the bottom, and we're going to put some of that. What's up, Jay? Thank you, Janice Gatto. Doing, somebody, somebody standing in the in the, in the the brinks <laughs> waiting on the you, pizza. In a couple weeks, we're going to get you to cook. We're going to put your apron on. That's cool? That's our nephew, Jalen. Say hi to the people, Jalen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of mozzarella on on the bottom. We're gonna put cheese on here twice. That's cool. Somebody said your videos have bought my burn game up. Every time I touch a comment, y'all, it list it goes away. So bear with me. That I like was to go coast to coast on the pizza. What that mean, baby? Coast to coast. Yeah. From north, south, east, and west. All the way, baby. All, all the way around. <laughs> coast, yes. coast to coast. So some mozzarella cheese. Just had a rich butter lobster roll from GB's. I'll have to share the story behind that. All right, Gary Craig. All right. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put uh, put the meat on. Put some meat on this thing. Hello, Hattie McBride, Susan I'm gonna, Cochran. I'm going to drain a little bit of this meat because I don't want that oil to just soak up on there. Okay. And this is just Italian sausage, the links, and he cut it out of the casing. Yeah. If you just join it. Thank you, Sylvia Christian. Brenda Thompson. I saw Brenda Coleman Harper come on too. Okay, so we're gonna put some meat on here. Some Italian sausage. 
Brenda Coleman Harper. Somebody, we look at you guys as celebrities. <laughs> That's how you felt when Chef Kim hey, called Brenda, you. How you doing? Good to see. You. Good to hear your voice. <laughs> it was good to hear your voice, I should say. We're gonna put a little bit more. We want some more meat on there, huh, baby? Yes. Jalen itching on up. You excited about the pizza? <laughs> Jalen, you've already eaten tonight, I thought. <laughs> You still hungry? You still hungry, baby? Jalen is a basketball superstar. Watch He's, out. Keep your name. Remember the name Jalen Dye. Jalen Dye. Coming to a city near you. Yeah, man. Coming to a stadium near you. Thank you, Erica Not Matthews. only is an athlete, but he's smart. Yes. Hello, Janice. Jaylen, you were on the student this year? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yes, he did. He had a great year in school. You got to keep that up, man. Right? Jalen won some money off me one day. How much he win? How much you won that day? Two dollars? $4. Four dollars. <laughs> Shooting hoops. All right. Okay, so we got that. So let's get some tomatoes, some onions. Okay, so this is the pizza so far. We just, the dough, the sauce, the cheese, the meat. How do, is it a way to to, to build a pizza, I guess? Because I would have put cheese after the sauce. I'm going to put I, I did put cheese out to the sauce. Oh, okay. <laughs> and you're going to put some more? <laughs> nah, I'm going to put, put a little bit more in there. So Thank I put some banana peppers Scott on here. Harold said children love pizza. And we're going to throw some mushrooms. Jalen said, huh? Jalen said, I'm putting no uh, mushrooms on Jaylen, my pizza. mushrooms are good, man. No, I said home because I like mushrooms. Oh, you, you like, like mushrooms? mushrooms? Go ahead on, Jalen. We call him Jaybird. Your gra right. your grandma call you Jaybird. Okay, so we're gonna put some red onion on here. Yes, I like red onion. Okay. All right. All right. Put some onion on there. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna put we're gonna put some sliced tomatoes on here too for some more color. Thank you, Gloria Henderson. She's slicing up some uh, grape tomatoes. Yeah, put some tomatoes on Try here. color. Try color. Try what? Try. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is going. So we're going to throw some of those on there. So we get meat, bread, veggies. We getting the whole nine, aren't we? Mm-hmm. All we're missing is some green. We're going to do some spinach. Yeah, man. And of course, oh my goodness, I'm actually salivating. That's Janice. Of course, anything you like or don't like, you can omit or add. We basically looked in the fridge and was like, let's make a pizza. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's bring some of this stuff up. Mm -hmm. What's up, Dominique? Hi. Hi. Dominique has joined the group. If y'all haven't watched the video, we had them both on. Um, Kip made them corn dogs oh, yeah. and chicken fingers, we chicken fingers and french fries. We had truffle fries. Truffle fries. Yeah. It was good. Yes. Thank you, Latanya Wash. She said that uh, she used the Burberry seasoning on her chicken, and it is on point. Thank you, Cassandra Green. Put a little spinach on here. A little spinach. Spinach. And you can go either way with this pizza. Y'all know people coming up with the weirdest things to put on pizza. I'm not a pineapple person. You're not? But I know some people that are. Pineapple and ham. Not on my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we got some green on there. We got some spinach and a little bit of arugula, baby. You wanted some arugula. All right. And we're going to put a little bit more cheese. Gail says she has a grandson named Jalen, and they call him Jaybird as well. Okay. <laughs> put a little bit more, and then we'll put a little salt, kosher salt. Some oregano, maybe? Oregano, okay. and a little fresh ground pepper. Boom. Not too much cheese on top, just to give you some ooey gooey, but don't weigh it down too much. Right. There we go. All right. We in the house. Hold on. I got it. So how long would this cook for? Thank you, Hattie McBride. My temper hurt me all that. I remember that episode. That's Gail Potter called me. Yes, they ate up some food. Okay. So so we're going to put this on the... Uh, brick. On the brick. Mm-hmm. 
I should have built it on there. Yeah, I thought you were. I was. I got caught up in the moment. <laughs> okay. Okay. Make this work now. Let's see if I can work this work. Just tear the paper. I'm gonna make it work. What's that? It's just the extra one. Why did I do that? Did you do the seasoning? Yeah, I'm gonna put it on the lowest one okay. to get it for me. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna leave this parchment paper on here. Okay. Because I'm afraid I'm gonna make a mess if I don't. <laughs> All right. It's better than the regular paper. Okay. She's be back in a second. Get it off. It's gonna, probably going to work out having that on there. Yeah, because you'll be able to Pull it deal with it better. Yeah. yeah. Everything working out. I just asked my husband about the chicken. He said it tastes like bacon. I guess that's a plum <laughs> because he he loves his bacon. <laughs> the first time you make a homemade pizza, no. We did, um, we've done it a few times. We've done flatbreads before. Um, Clean that up. See if she's got that. You know what? I'm just going to grab some right here. Okay. So this so is our pizza really up close. Oven. We're about to go in the oven. And we will see how it turns out. We're getting the audience in the kitchen. All, all the cheering that came here. That's why we watch, because they acknowledge us. We appreciate them, and they appreciate us. We are family. Thank you so much, Shirley Turner. What's understood don't have to be explained, sis. I sure appreciate you. <laughs> Okay. okay. The regular. Little... No. Little... No, sir. Okay, don't worry about it. A little salt on top. Pepper. Just a little bit. And there we go. Do you want this? No. We're going to go into the oven. Okay. I got the oven at 425. Probably be ready in about 15 minutes. And the oven it goes. All right. All right. So we're going to get another one going. Thank you for the stars, Dr. Yeah. Kimberly Johnson. Since we got it, we might as well make two. Gary Craig said the staff at the hotel are very nice. Good looking out. He's settling in. He's settling in? Yes. We got to figure out what day we're going to get together. Yes. It might be a couple of days, huh? So, what we're going to do with the other half of the pizza? You going to roll it out? What's that? The dough. I'm going to put it in a pan. Okay. We're going to put it in this pan right here. Thank you for the star, Suberta store. Actually, I can put it in there. Though. All right. Put a little bit of flour on there. Where did that flour go? Right there. Right there. It's probably going to roll out even easier because of uh, it's had more time to rest. Trying to roll that up. Mm -hmm. It's the thing. Have you tried Italian seasoning, Erica Matthews? Looking forward. Um, yes, but. Usually I kind of make it. I usually take some, some oregano and marjoram, some vet dry basil, and just kind of, because I have all those spices in my cupboard, in my pantry. And I just kind of, I'm one of those that kind of make it. So, because um, I have a lot of spices. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. So. Latanya said, could you freeze this dough, babe? I've never frozen it. But I have put it like in a Ziploc bag mm -hmm. and kept it for like three days. Okay. In the fridge? Yes. Okay. Jolly uh, Payne said, looks like Sonny's Pizza. If you I'm notice, this one is rolling out easier and quicker. Because it sat longer. Yeah, it had a chance to rest. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. Kit, when are you doing pralines again? That's Gary Craig. Thank you for the start. Before you leave. Vicky Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> you know that was a hint, hint. <laughs> Before you leave, we got you get special delivery. Can y'all hear Ty? 
these nuts I work with want to know if you deliver. I told them, yeah, place your order. Deliver with Ronda Remo and her job. Tell them to call Uber Eats. It's going to be a long okay, way. Go, long mm -hmm. way. <laughs> what, you going to let the kids do a cheese or you just going to throw some stuff? What do y'all want on this pizza? I don't know. Cheese oh. and meat. Cheese, cheese and, and cheese meat. Cheese and meat. All right. Cheese and meat you got. Keyshawn, what you want on the pizza? You don't know. You don't know. Come it's gonna be cheesy meat. So this is the little little cut, the little Let's nephew. See. You want to say hi to the people? Tell them hello. Hello. What's mm -hmm. your name? Keyshawn. Keyshawn, how old are you? Four. Four. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. <laughs> All right. Keyshawn and made his debut. He even made his debut. <laughs> oh, oh, I hope I got enough pizza. I probably should have cooked some more. I got time, though. You mean meat? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to see if it was something in here. No, I got some more. Okay. She got ham in here, too, now. I got some more of this. Okay. We, go Ooh, we need to use it. Can you make beef wellington? Yes, we can, yes, uh, Carol before. Grooms. We've made it before. <laughs> he is adorable. Everybody say hello. <laughs> you coming? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, and dry your pizza. All right. So we're gonna make a couple more of these. Uh, um, what did my scissors? Scissors. Here, scissor, scissor. All right. Okay. Right here. So we're gonna make some more sausage because he's gonna make another pizza. You want to, uh, oh, I love meat and cheese. Meat That's and cheese want. for the boys. Wait. Um, and I love watching also, but we'll watch even if my name wasn't mentioned. I love the discussion. Thank you so much for saying hi to everyone takes away from the video. Thank you, Terry, for that. Vicki Richardson, good evening, my baby's mama. <laughs> Houston, Texas, have been viewing a week. My my 71st birthday celebration right. was great. Happy belated birthday, Vicki Richardson. Thank so you. So I'm cooking up the sausage right now. Again, for the boys, we're going to check the pizza. Pizza's looking good. It is looking good. You know, the only thing I didn't do that I wish I would have done? Brush the sides with olive oil. Yes. You know, I still might do that. You going to do it? Yeah. We're going to do that. Alright, it's all right here. Um, brush a little bit of olive oil on there. Okay. It'll make them brown up a little better. You want to brush the one in the oven? Yeah, okay. sure am. Yeah. I sure am. Yeah. You gonna make it look right? Yes, Jeanette Mayo. Uh, Keyshawn does look like his uncle. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna brush the edge of that pizza. <laughs> Rita McBride Thomas, they waiting on pizza. All right, so he's just going to brush the edge with some olive oil. Yeah, that'll make it brown up a little better. Thank you, Tracy Rowson. Thank you. <laughs> Sausage is cooking for the boys. Hello, Susan, Adrian. So we're gonna put some sausage for them and some cheese. And call it a y'all want day. tomatoes? You like tomatoes? Oh, Jalen Yes. Tomato sauce, huh? oh, yes. Thank you, Judy. Lola. Is not babysitting. <laughs> they probably babysitting Lola. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Cheryl Davis. Thank you for joining us. Right, put that up. That's out of the way. Yeah, put on my stuff. <laughs> had had and Rita going. <laughs> Don't get jealous. They my family. We everybody's family. We yeah. love everybody. Hello, Mildred Roscoe. Good evening. Pizza looking good. Hello, Renee Smith. That's my sister. Renee like a little pizza, don't she? Yes, she love pizza. <laughs> okay, turn this down, son. Huh? Get so them some chunks on their pizza. Cooking up some more Italian sausage for the kids' pizza. So it's 
slow it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Turn that heat down. Mm -hmm. okay. Tell Kip, see, I'm being nice tonight. No teasing. That's Gail Moore. She, oh, she gave know, you the night I off. Didn't know she was on there. <laughs> All right. Hello, Veronica Kirby. Thank you for joining us. Okay. We're going to put this pizza in the pan. I got it rolled out. Slide it on in there. That's why you the chef. Um, I have been want, warned to be on my best church board behavior, Gary yeah. Craig. Oh, <laughs> all right. So we're gonna put a little layer of uh, sauce. I mean, uh, cheese. Cheese. Mm -hmm. On there. Okay, Rita's your sister, Hattie. Okay, well, welcome, family. Rita and Hattie. This, they're like really sisters. They're sisters, sisters yes. They blood sisters. No. Hattie and Rita. They are? Yeah. Rima? No, oh. that was Rhonda. Oh, I'm sorry. Stay focused. <laughs> Hello, Marsha Adams. He, he trying to tell me y'all ain't sisters, Hattie. Hello, Donna Fluis Williams. Right. Pizza looking good. That's me to make bride Thomas. Okay, got it. <laughs> got one more bag of cheese. Cheese, yeah. We got to, we got to load that cheese up. So what y'all don't eat tonight, y'all got to warm up and eat tomorrow for lunch. Day old pizza ain't never hurt nobody. <laughs> Hello, Phyllis Goodman, Cynthia Castle. I got it. Got another bag of cheese somewhere. Did you put it in the fridge? It's coming along pretty good. It is? Okay. That go to oregano. Kids pizza. Oh, Lordy. Yes. Put a little oregano on there for them. Hello, Sylvia Sanders from Denmark, South Carolina. You need to come to Kentucky for a cooking demo. That's Terry Tap Hagen. Thank you. Sandra Nelson we looks have delicious. To make that happen. All right, get the sauces going. How's the pizza? It's almost there. I, I smell it. I probably could have cooked it at 450. Let's get in there. Okay. In fact, we're going to kick it up a night for the next one. Yes, Tia. He's sipping on some chocolate whiskey. Right, baby? Yeah, in fact, I need a refresher. Okay. It's going, must be going down good. They probably going to eat it cold for breakfast. That's right. Cold pizza down the floor. <laughs> they don't care. When that stomach gets to growling, the first thing they can get to. Okay. <laughs> All right, cut a little bit of mozzarella off. Okay. Some more mozzarella. Some when more. putting it on the pizza, I don't like the big clunks. You don't? No, because it's hard to chew the them. On the pizza, I prefer shredded. I like now I part. like the big. Only thing I don't the like big, about the shredded is bought. They put starch on it, so it's, it's to keep it from sticking. Yeah, so it affects the weirdness of it. They they old ain't never hurt nobody. What's in the sauce cup? It's just regular tomato sauce, yep. Gail Moore. We 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 cheated. <laughs> okay. Lola, they say, are you babysitting the boys? I told him the boys was babysitting you. Okay. All right. So I'm getting ready to try it up. No, we got to put it down. All right. <laughs> and when this one comes out, the other one comes out, this one will be going in. Get a little bit of this oil out. 
So I'm draining the meat a little bit on a paper towel. That's hot, ain't it? No, it actually wasn't. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. My mind said, ooh, that's hot. Sure. Off top of the paper towel is opposite of how I place mine. Let's debate. That's Martha Nelson. <laughs> Preference or both. What's that? So uh, how you place the paper towel, going down or going up? Oh, I like it going down. I like it going down. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Pearl Shelton Kip is a teacher and very knowledgeable. Yeah. Mama cooks good, healthy food. That's right, Pearl. Thank you. Yeah. I like the paper towel and to toilet tissue going down, not coming up. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, so let's put some meat on this pizza for the boys. Okay. Spread it out. I'll clean up a little bit. And that's all they want is meat and cheese. That's so. all they want, baby. We got to give them what they want. Martha Nelson said, no, Kip. <laughs> I guess going down on the paper towel. Mm -mm. <laughs> all right. Some more cheese. There we go. We're going to put all this meat on there. Because what we're going to do with it is not you. Right. Okay. Get this out of the way. So one should be coming out and the other one going in. Right. This is the boys' pizza. Rustic looking. Meat and cheese and sauce. <laughs> Let's see how this other one is doing in a minute. So one wanted tomatoes and the other one didn't. It's always good when you enjoy what you're doing. That's right, Gary Craig. They great. They great in the grill. Russell Rogers said you can do a pizza on the grill. Yes, you can. Ooh. Yes, you can. I don't think I've ever tried that. Put a little, uh, all right, put some regular Going on. up makes me big, mad, and nervous. It's down for me. That's Donna <laughs> Fluis. <laughs> Everybody got their preference. <laughs> Everybody got their preference. There's no right or wrong. It ain't ready yet. It's, it getting, ain't, there. it's getting there. Mm -hmm. It look good. Dominique said, woo. This you looks good. I'm late. The kid make the dough. When you turned it up? Yeah. <laughs> um, right, so. Yes, he made the dough from scratch, Martha Nelson. Yes, I made the dough from scratch. I'll, re I'll hit that recipe again because I know it's been a minute. The recipe for the dough. Is uh, three and a half to four cups of flour. And, and what you're looking for is you want the dough to be a little sticky right before you knead it so you can add a little bit more flour to it. So three and a half to four cups. I'm just going to say four cups. Um, either a packet of yeast, active yeast, or two tablespoons, a teaspoon of sugar, two tablespoons of salt, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, um, water. And a cup and a half of water at 110 degrees. So heat it at 110 degrees. Put all the dry ingredients in. If you have a good big um, mixer. food processor, you can use that. Or a mixer. Mix it in there. Slowly add the water. When it starts to come together and turns into a ball, pull it out. Knead it down till the dough is smooth. Put it in a grease bowl. Let it rise for about an hour covered in a warm spot. And then pull it out, punch the dough down, let it rest for about 10 minutes after you knead it up and cut it into pieces. That'll make two pizzas. Um, let it rest about 10 minutes, roll it out, and put what you want on it. Cook it. I had the oven at, uh, at about 410. I should have probably had it at 450. It would have been ready by now. Russell Rogers said we need to do some on the grill. His mom was asking about it today. Is that right? Tara Tap Hagen, who inspired you cooking for a living? Who was your favorite <laughs> Star Chef. Star Chef. Um, this day and time, this the first one. I mean, I mean, he's a he, he's well known, but I've been watching him a long time. Uh, Bobby Flay is one of my be one of my favorites. I think because of uh, not just because of his popularity, but I think he seasons food well, mm -hmm. uh, and he has a good style uh, of what he does. Um, there's some others, but Bobby kind of steals the show for me, you know. Um, I, I've been following him a long, long time. Long time. <laughs> Even before he was popular, I, I was following him. So, 
he's probably one of my favorites. You know, just, you know, I could tell you some other names, but that's what I talk about the most, isn't it? Yes. I watch him all the time. Russell said, your mama. <laughs> yeah, but she, they said, star. You know, star. Mama star mama now, too. Star. <laughs> yeah. but I, that's why I was going first. Is I learned from mom. Yes. And I still learn from mom. She still teaches me stuff every day. Um, so. Pearl Shelton said, can you cut the recipe in half? As far as that, uh, the amount, yeah, yeah, you can, or you can make the whole thing, and that other half of the dough yeah, can, can keep put, for three days. Yeah, you can put it in a, in a bag and uh, and a Ziploc bag, and put it in the refrigerator, and then keep okay. Uh, but that, uh, so that's gonna make two pizzas like, like a 10 inch pizza, or if you got no space, a whole big, big. Gigantous. <laughs> Terry, yes, his mom um, did chicken and dumplings. If you go back, I think it's titled Mom's Chicken and Dumplings. Yeah. Probably um, the easiest, quickest way to find some of the videos is go to Cooking with Kip Bacon. Isn't it Cooking with Kip Bacon? Where? On YouTube. Kip B. Cooking with Kip B? Yeah. Because um, it's easy to just click on videos on YouTube and just go down. Yes. Yeah. But you could also find it on Facebook by clicking on videos too. Tracy said frozen loaves work amazingly in a clutch. That's right. Frozen what? <laughs> Low bread loaves. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. Whatever you can do. And he drinks as well. That's Gail Moore, sis. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm refreshing right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, they said pick the meat up off the floor, please. That's Mary Jack. Oh, I will. <laughs> she saw that? Jay Berg. She's, the I meat up. Okay. She saw it when it fell? Yeah, she <laughs> seen what it fell. <laughs> Mary and Jackson. Y'all don't miss that was for the puppy. That was we ain't got no puppy. <laughs> Y'all don't miss nothing. <laughs> At least I didn't pick it up and put it back home then. Okay. Who father? You're gonna pull this pizza out. Okay. Okay. Let me just put that in there. Okay. Y'all ready? The pizza coming out. Shared in three groups. Good evening, y'all. Thank you, Lily Singleton Baker. Russell said he wanted a slice. Do a drive by Russell. Babe, you need the mittens. She does. She said it's in, it's in the drawer next to the um, refrigerator. Okay. All right. Give him that towel. Which towel you tell me? It's time for the that grand one. reveal. It's time for the grand reveal. Dun, dun, dun. All right. And there you have it, my people. What's the brand of chocolate whiskey? Y'all fooling, Gail Craig said. The chocolate whiskey, Kip bought it actually for dessert oh, tomorrow. Smith. But it's called. But I'm using it to make a, a I won't say it's a sauce, but a, uh, a cream that's going on a uh, pecan chocolate tart that I'm making tomorrow. Yes. But I had to test it to make sure it was okay to put into the sauce, into the cream. So we're going to get this pizza cut. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Y'all know we got to let this cool or all the all the skin in the top of the mouth gonna be dangling. <laughs> Babe, you touched that 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 thing? That piece look good, thank you. I sure did. Donna say let her hear that crust. Thank you, Russell. That's that crust right there. That's that <laughs> bay. You worm me, you worm me. I got them kind of hands. Brandon Williams, I like the pizza. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> All the cheering over here. Lined up. One, <laughs> two. <laughs> Look at Lola. <laughs> There's pizza. It's too hot to eat. You can't even eat this right now. Brandon Williams said you're an amazing cook, and he looks up to you. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate it. Hello, Ruby Gandy from Mississippi. Yes. Okay. We got the. We got to put theirs in, baby. They probably gonna eat ours, and we'll end up with the with the. They don't meat. eat vegetables. They don't want that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> they don't eat it. They don't eat it. Look, they gonna eat that one. And we'll end up with the meat and cheese. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Rita. I'm gonna end up with the raw cheese. You gonna wait on the meat and cheese, Jay Bird? So we gonna test some of this pizza. Out. Okay, we are gonna test it out. Hello, Latrice Newhouse, Tracy Daniels. I know you always get the first bite, but I think that needs to be changed. Ooh. No, man. Not gonna change. Chef always get the taste of. Gotta taste the food before it goes out. Mary Jackson said, You're amazing, baby. Thank y'all so much for the love. But I'm coaching. 
<laughs> you coach them? You the coach them? Yes, All right. so I know GC Tires. Alright. That's that little gooey that I was talking about. It ain't no piece if it ain't no pullback. <laughs> I can't eat this right now because it's going to tear my mouth up, baby. Babe. But I got to try it. Babe, just blow it. Blow it. Blow it. <laughs> there go his taste buds, y'all. Mm. What I like about it most is the freshness of it. Oh, you still going? Okay. Thank you, Lisa Snotty. Hello, Lois Tolliver. Hey, what well, boys and Carlos stars now? They stars, baby. Yeah, I gotta show it to you, baby. Okay, all right. Thanks, brother. Always good to make sure whiskey is fit for human consumption. <laughs> <laughs> that's Harold. But <laughs> well, that's the pizza, guys. Here's the pizza we made tonight, just for the family. We got another one in the oven. For the cheer. Fresh dough, <laughs> fresh veggies cut right here on the spot. Um, toast it up. Tastes good. Looks good. I need a little drizzle of olive oil. What you just drizzle? A little salt? Just a little bit of salt. All right, y'all. My mouth water. <laughs> Fern says Chef Kip puts a lot of work. Okay, so that's it. It's been a... I think that was work. It's been a plum pleasing pleasure. As, le as well as the privilege. As well as the privilege. Here it comes. It's time for us to get out of here. Keyshawn, we going to eat some pizza? Mm -hmm. All right. Keyshawn, tell everybody, keep a smile on your face. Keep a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Where the baby smile. All right, y'all. We've had fun. Pizza night with the bacons. We're cooking with Kip. Say hi, Dominique. Hey, it's been fun, but we got to go. We might not be able to catch you tomorrow because we... Um, have an event. We have an event to cook for tomorrow. Yes, he does do a lot of love. Um, Thank you, Fern. So it's all about family. It's all about making a difference. It's all about... Um, Keep a smile on keeping faces. smiles on people's faces. There you, know how you go. Do that, it's not making a difference. Love y'all. Have a good night. Cooking with Kip after dark. Blow kiss, Keisha. Mwah. All Bye. right. Peace, good love, night. and hair grease. Okay. Peace, Bye. love, and hair grease. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining us. Thank y'all all for the love and the stars. Marsha, now. Marsha, boy.